Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is MIMO and we'll cover it in multiple lectures. Okay, so let's start. So before uh, studying MIMO, uh, we'll go through some basic concepts. Okay, so first one is antenna port. Okay, so antenna port and physical antenna, these are two different things. Okay, let me put the heading antenna port versus physical antenna okay these two are different things okay so let's read the definition first uh, antenna port is a logical or virtual concept okay it means antenna port is not same as physical antenna okay so it's actually a logical concept okay uh, might be you have seen if you look at the base station suppose this is my base station or e node b okay so you will see some physical antenna over there okay like this okay so this is not your antenna port it this is a your physical antenna okay these are physical antennas not antenna ports this is logical concept this antenna port is logical concept or virtual concept you can say okay yeah okay so each antenna port has its own different signal okay so you might have heard this thing like we have different configuration of mimo like 2 cross 2 mimo uh, 4 cross 4 mimo 4 cross 2 mimo correct so here this let's take this 2 cross 2 so here this 2 is antenna port okay this is your antenna port okay this is not physical antenna okay uh, you can think in like in, in, in such a way that uh, you also have heard that in 5G there is a feature a massive MIMO okay massive MIMO so here we are going to put a huge number of antennas okay so it like it's like uh, 256 cross 256 like this okay okay so you can think it's not possible to put 256 and uh, physical antenna antennas over a base station okay this is your logical concept okay this is your logical concept okay so this is your antenna port okay and this I mean, there is a mapping of antenna port there is a mapping of antenna port to physical antenna and it could be your one to one mapping one to one one to many one to one means uh, each antenna port is mapped to uh, every physical antenna in one to many one antenna port will be mapped to multiple physical antennas and there is many to one also possible where many antenna ports are uh, mapped to your one physical antenna so you can think like this so so let's talk about 4 cross 4 mimo okay 4 cross 4 mimo okay so here i'll have port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 okay so these logical antennas will be mapped to these two physical antennas okay and this mapping is uh, this mapping is dependent to your vendor okay what kind of mapping they have configured whether it's one to one one to many or many to one okay so so in many books or tutorials you means you will see that they have mentioned 4 cross 4 antenna okay so it's 4 cross 4 not antenna it's antenna port okay so your antenna ports fine another thing is that each antenna ports have their own reference signal okay so here I have mentioned each antenna port has its own reference signal. Okay. 
okay so let's consider same example of 4 cross 4 MIMO okay so we'll have four ports right port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 okay so each of these ports will have their own resource grid resource grid uh, I hope you remember that a frequency and time grid right frequency and time okay this is your port 1 this is its frequency and time resource grid and this is port 2 it has its own resource grid and this is port 3 and it also has its own resource grid okay so let's see a figure so from there you'll we'll get better understanding okay so i told you that each port has its own reference signal okay so here uh, the, uh, here you could see see this these are the ports right port 0 1 2 3 so this is 4 cross 4 MIMO because you are talking about 4 ports okay so red here uh, resource element which are shown by red color these are reference signals of port 0 okay fine and uh, you can see 0 is also mentioned here okay and blue color means uh, resource elements uh, which are occupied by blue color are the reference signals of port 1 and this green color is the reference signal of port 2 and this uh, yellow color is uh, reference signal of port 3 okay so one thing uh, you must have notice here that <coughs> when port 0 is sending reference signal okay at this resource element so uh, corresponding resource element of other resource grid is blank okay like see this is 0 but this 0 is blank okay means port 1 couldn't send any data at this resource element similarly port 2 couldn't send any uh, data at this resource element okay same thing is valid for other uh, ports also okay like uh, port 1 is sending uh, data or you can say uh, reference signal at this resource element so, so corresponding resource element of other ports will be blank okay if see at port 0 it is blank at port 2 it is blank here you can read this gray color is showing a resource element that does not carry any data okay okay so the logic is when one antenna port on a certain resource element is sending a reference signal the other antenna ports won't send anything on that resource element okay so this we have seen here okay so <coughs> next thing is uh, reference signal okay this is also means you should have good understanding of reference signal uh, to understand mimo concept okay so this will cover in some uh, in next lecture okay thanks for watching